Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today we're going over how to get maximum attention using social media ads. Now this video was inspired because I noticed that a lot of musicians are really just wasting a lot of ad dollars by not really customizing their ad campaigns for the platforms that they're making it in, and oftentimes just taking regular content they have like a music video and then running an ad using the entire music video. And the first thing that you want to keep in mind when you're creating an ad is what is the goal that you have at the end of the day are you trying to drive music plays are you trying to drive overall awareness what do you want the end behavior of the user to be what do you consider a successful campaign to be so for this I'm going to use three examples none of these have been necessarily considered these huge viral campaigns where you might necessarily know about people in the first one I'm going to actually use a non music example a few days ago I was hit with this video on Instagram this is also a metaphor for your car so when you don't put Toyo tires on your car, you're basically doing this. Choose Toyo tires, not spray cheese. Now the first thing I actually saw scrolling down my feed was food. That beautiful looking steak, you keep watching for a few seconds and then bam, the cheese happens. Obviously, especially on a platform like Instagram, you're gonna catch a lot of people's attention using something as beautiful as a steak, some good looking food, but this ended up being a tire commercial. And you can see that a lot of people got got when they talk about it in the comments. But why this commercial works, which is really important to remember and take note of, is the fact that even though they had the steak and it transitioned to end up being a tire commercial, it wasn't like some straight spammy stuff. It made sense in the narrative of the actual story itself. The steak was ruined by cheese. They were using it as a metaphor to say your car is ruined if you don't have our tires. Don't put cheese on your car. I want to drive that point in because a lot of people call everything clickbait these days, but clickbait isn't necessarily clickbait or at the very least, it's not so much of an offense if what you're using or the content after the click actually makes sense and it's providing value at the end of the day. But so the point is they were able to use something to capture people's attention and then transition. When you have something as boring as tires, right? A lot of you guys are working with music or just everybody has different, these interesting brands, but tires is pretty boring. How do you capture people's attention? I had never heard of Toyo tires before this ad or seeing this, but now I do. These type of campaigns are really to build awareness. They're really not meant to draw some kind of specific clicks or behavior or I personally wouldn't use that type of ad to do that but just getting people intrigued and captured by what it is and maybe a lot of people might even send it so they could get somebody else with it I actually end up sending it to my sister because I know she likes food and I knew she would be thrown off by the ad and transition herself what you got to pay attention to in all these ads are the structures you have something quick that brings in the attention and you use that somehow to lead to another narrative that makes sense for whatever you want to do or at least want them to know and because you're using this type of ad to drive awareness with a lot of people who might not necessarily know you already this is one of the type of ads I would recommend doing like a Facebook ad campaign and actually paying for it because it has the ability to stop people in their tracks for just enough time to get informed of you number two the second ad was actually just an Instagram post so I'm gonna go ahead and start and say this type of ad is not to build a fan base or bring in new followers this is to engage and direct your fans your current fans to a specific action A lot of people just post, hey, now available on Amazon or now available on Spotify and all of those types of things. What this person did, a blacksmith, he actually engaged and entertained the fan base and even made them laugh a little bit around what he wanted them to know and then provided a single call of action, which is basically go on Amazon Prime if you got it and listen to the music. Once again, this type of ad is not to build a fan base, it's to inform your current fan base and then lead them to a specific action. Doing things like this allows 
allows you to constantly inform them when you can always have the regular post. Hey, this is available here on Spotify, but now I'm going to entertain you this time and then once again let you know it's available on Spotify and then I might do something else. So you can come up with a lot of creative ideas that are small. They don't even have to be funny, but just something where you give them value in addition to the information itself and then hit them with the fact that you want them to know something and then direct them to the action. Number three. So number three is my favorite because not only does it utilize influencer marketing, but it does it right. is going to think of it too much as an ad, it's straight up organic. They're listening to music as they get ready, which a lot of girls and just people in general do. So it's them being their natural selves and then they're interacting with each other and they're interacting with the video just looking like they're having fun because of the song. Like they like the song, like they actually know the song. That's way different than a lot of these other ads you see. And while I don't have any personal insight on the first two ads, what I can tell you from this third one is the song in this video is called Mozzie by an artist named Shoney Yen. And then Shoney Yen had an additional 50,000 plays in a very short period of time on that song after it was posted. Now the track has about 522,000 plays on SoundCloud or maybe it's 580 something thousand. I can't remember. Also, which is most important, Shoney N said about 500 of those people end up following him on Instagram and they really stick with him and stay active. 500 legitimate fans is a nice amount coming from one Instagram post. He hasn't even maximized the use of that particular clip or pushed the song really heavily yet. A lot of people talk about, hey, use influencers, reach out to influencers, pay them for an ad, but it still depends on what they do when they promote your song. With a lot of these influencers, they're gonna want creative control. Just make sure that they're doing something creative instead of just posting. So two quick tips, especially if you're doing an Instagram ad, if you can make a video that actually gets people's attention and maybe even can make sense or be funny or intriguing or even confusing without the sound at all, then you're doing yourself a great service because, hey, a lot of times people don't have time to click the sound or also a lot of times people just can't because they're in a certain place. But if you can get that message out and make them laugh, that could be a pretty effective video, especially for awareness. And then, of course, when they turn the sound on, hopefully the video is just that much better or explains what they didn't get but got intrigued by before turning the sound on. And then the second tip is A-B testing. As you notice, I did not say hey do this one only do this one I always talk about experimentation a lot of people will tell you that videos do better on social media than text ads but I say you test that for yourself because it all depends on your goals what a lot of people get confused by is they'll see a bigger reach or they'll see bigger numbers as far as watches when it comes to the videos but it just means people might have saw the video but that doesn't mean much if they like the video or anything like that so you might just want to use that as awareness just like the first video because a lot of times what you might find in my experience with text ads is you will have more clicks and better drive people to specific behaviors if you don't have a good video ad in itself or even just good copy when you're writing your text ad we can do a video about how you use language in your ads later but for now that's it y'all know what to do hit that subscribe button